good morning and welcome to today's International Space Station Update Hour here from the Flight Control Room in Houston, Texas. Getting a look now inside is ground personnel monitor systems on board the orbiting laboratory. Currently on consoles, the Orbit 2 team. And they are being led today by Flight Director Ron Spencer there on the right side of your screen. And joining him at the Capcom console is veteran astronaut Shannon Lucid. She is serving as the communication link between controllers here on the ground and astronauts up in space. And those astronauts currently on board the station are the crew of Expedition 30. Led by NASA astronaut and Commander Dan Burbank there in the front left of your screen. Behind him are Russian cosmonauts Anton Shkoflarov and Anatoly Ivanishin. And then rounding out the crew on the right side are European Space Agency astronaut Andrei Kuipers, Russian cosmonaut Oleg Kononenko, and NASA astronaut Don Pettit. Crew very busy today with a variety of experiment work and engaged in some maintenance activities with the systems on board the station. Commander Burbank is spending the vast majority of his day today doing some fluid sampling collection on the internal thermal control systems in a few of the U.S. segments, including the Columbus Laboratory as well as the Japanese exposed module. Russian cosmonaut Anton Shkaplerov is hard at work on a progress tour route drill, which is in anticipation of the upcoming 46 progress docking. Toru is the manual control system that serves as a backup to the Progress's automated KERS system when it is in its final docking stages. He will also be participating in a public affairs event with Russian stations doing a TV greeting. And joining him will be Anatoly Venetian and Oleg Kononenko, the three Russian cosmonauts currently on board. And then of those three, Anatoly Ivanishin started his day off doing some work with the Matryoshka, which is a Russian experiment that, work, that works to look at radiation effects on the human body while in the microgravity environment of the International Space Station. He also did some coolant maintenance work today, as well as doing some pretty extensive audits of the inventory in both these Vesda and Zarya modules as a progress vehicle recently departed just yesterday and the upcoming one requires some pretty serious looking over. Oleg Kononenko started his day off with a physical experiment called Sprut 2. That is a Russian experiment that takes body ma mass measurements and then has Kononenko do a quick run and then take further measurements afterwards. He's joining Shkoflarov in that Toru drill as well as that public affairs event. European astronaut Andrei Kuipers spent much of his day doing some setup and testing of the urine monitoring system, which works within the waste and hygiene compartment. And then aside from that, he was doing some battery charging of the EMUs in advance of an upcoming spacewalk February 16th that will be done by some of the Russian crewmates. He was charging up some batteries for their pistol grip tools. Final member of Expedition 30, Don Pettit, did some work on the integrated cardiovascular monitoring system, setting that up, and that's looking at the heart muscle and any atrophy that occurs. He will also be doing a safety video tour of the station, which is required once every increment, so once every expedition, uh, and that is for the benefit of controllers here on the ground. And then as mentioned yesterday, a progress vehicle 45p undocked at about 4:10 p.m. central time taking with it, uh, much of the trash on board the station that will eventually deorbit and burn up in the earth's atmosphere this was in anticipation of the 46 progress launch which is scheduled to take place tomorrow wednesday january 25th at 506 p.m. central time with the eventual docking on friday that progress vehicle just recently rolled out to its launch pad, as you can see here.